morning everybody look what i've got yes all my well it's probably about i would say a week's supply of three hours coffee little coffee pucks there so everyone's saying coffee coffee grounds so but these aren't well i guess they are grounds but it's a lot finer because it's it's espresso but oh man that still smells smells good so i'm putting it on i'm going to put it with my bolotti beans and my sweet corn because there's something getting me sweet corn I've noticed the odd one has been again scythed off. So I'm not thinking now it's birds. I'm thinking it's probably maybe mice. Look at Show you this. Let's get up closer. Can you see? Look at it. I think that's just a bloody mice or rats. <laughs> so, and there's a few of them, to be honest. So from the 60 now, I'm down to about 55. <laughs> That's a good job, I got plenty 60. So I'm going to try putting some coffee, and this is more for the, the slugs, to be honest, but you know what I mean? Let's get, man, it smells good. And actually, one, one coffee puck goes a long way. If it's mice, I don't think it'll put the mice off. I think it encourages them to come for a full banquet, you know, little coffees afterwards. Well, at least I'm, I'm trying. Do you know what I mean? That's the most important thing, I'm trying. Does, I haven't got the nerve to do it, to be quite honest. Does anybody go up into, say, Starbucks or Costa's, Costco's, Costa, Costa, and, and just ask for coffee? Now, I hope it's kind of, can you see us there? Yes, I hope it's here where, you know, it does make a difference. I'll put quite a bit on here. I'll put, I'll put the rest on around there. So I have been putting this in the compost bins, you know, and it's been breaking down lovely. But we'll see what this... Right, there we go. <laughs> God, I'm getting on my bloody face and everything now. Let's get this, get this bloody coffee off. So, what's on the day? Well, I'm going to put them bloody spring onions out. I'm going to put them next to the tomatoes where, and I'm hoping that whoever's pinching all my sweet corn are, are more driven to them. You know, that's bait, just to keep them away. Then I'm sure, I'll show you, I'll show you now, to be honest, me carrots, carrots haven't, carrots haven't come at all. So I planted carrots in here. I'm just looking on my thing there. 30th of March, the seeds, 30th of March. And there's not a thing there, to be quite honest. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give this bed a good water, and I'm gonna put in, what I've, I've got these seeds here, which are, no, from my mom. <laughs> Nance five. I mean, I have watered this as well, with the seeds in, and I don't know if it was just the went in too early, like I say, 30th of March, or there were dead seeds. I've got a feeling they'll probably, if I'm truthful, old seeds. You know, I got them probably January-ish from B&Q and maybe they hadn't replaced them. Look at this, it's just powder on the top. So I'm going to stick in three rows. I think I did three rows last time, to be honest. 
Oh, look at that, man. That's straight as a jockey's leg. Hey, you know, I've given that such a good soak and it's still like just sitting on the top. And that's how you do it. <laughs> Look, you got that. So you can plant these up until July. So let's see if I'm planting these now in May, September, I think. Don't like the bloody weight. Never mind, second time lucky. Sorry, I got that wrong. <laughs> oh, can't be, uh, that's the problem with this, you can hear me swearing on. So this bed, I've just done the same as that bed there. I've given a nice good soaky water and I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna dedicate this whole bed to parsnips. Now, last year, let's come round here. Last year, I got parsnips bought like this as well and what are these palace and but they were like way a lot you know maturer and when I put them in they're just when I pulled them out sorry after months of waiting they were just knotted messes you know they'd been kind of stunted in in the containers so I've seen these ones and you can see can you see they're just nice and oh there's a big fat slug under there big Big, oh, look at that big fat bloody snail. So I'm hoping these ones will, will do the business for us because we've just had to be buying parsnips of late. Right then, let's go. Some of them are little, but what the hell are going in? So hopefully they'll come. Be nice to see, you know what I mean? Let's see if I can do, do the old parsnips. They do look little, but this bed is well protected, you know, so I'm hoping that's, that's the case. Anyways, let's wish them luck and we'll leave them to their own devices. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna arse over tit. I'm putting in, I'm gonna bang these spring onions, red spring onions in clumps to entice whoever's pinching me sweet corn and other valuables. Job done. Now, now I've got to get him. Done, done and dusted for the day. Look after yourselves, take good care. 